Hey, what's going on guys? Dopes Warner here, bringing you another commentary. In the last commentary, I said that there was something that kind of pissed me off, and I was already having a bad day, so I didn't want to talk about it. Well, today was a decent day, so let's go ahead and bitch about something and put me in a frustrated, bad mood. No, I'm just kidding, but anyways, I feel like today is the time to do this commentary. So, as you can tell by the title, this title, this title, this commentary is going to be about Razer, um, which I'm sure all of you know about, even if you aren't a PC gamer. Um, Razer is basically like the premier company for gaming on the PC peripherals, uh, whether that be mice, keyboards, headphones, anything of that nature. Uh, I have a Razer keyboard right now. It is the Backstalker, Backstalker, Deathstalker, Deathstalker sounds right. Um, and I got this keyboard from for my birthday last year in September, and it's been a great keyboard overall. Um, I love the backlit keys, and it's a definite upgrade from everything I've ever had, but because I've been doing a little bit more PC gaming lately, I kind of wanted to upgrade, and after going over to my buddy's house and um, playing on his Black Widow uh, Razer keyboard, I decided that I wanted to upgrade to that keyboard. And the main difference between my current keyboard and that keyboard is that that keyboard has mechanical keys, and if you don't, if you haven't ever used a mechanical keyboard, it's kind of hard to explain. But basically, on a chiclet keyboard, from what I or on a chiclet, on a standard keyboard, from what I understand, it doesn't register until the key presses all the way down. Well, with on a mechanical keyboard, there's actually switches under the keys, so you get like instant feedback. It's a lot better for first-person shooters, and it just feels a hell of a lot better to use. So once I used my buddy's keyboard, I just went home to this keyboard and was like, man, my keyboard sucks in comparison. So. I had a little bit of extra money and I decided to order the Black Widow keyboard from Razer on Amazon and it came in the mail and I was super pumped. I hooked it up and I was stoked. I was going to make a video comparing this current keyboard to that keyboard and after using it for a little bit I happened to notice that the F key didn't light up on the keyboard and um, <laughs> as you know when you're spending 120 130 bucks whatever it ended up being after tax on a keyboard you expect it to work fully and so although it was functioning I was not okay with having the keyboard so I contacted Razer um, you know and they, they originally thought it was like an issue with the driver or the synapse software um, I kind of in my mind didn't think that it was but I went ahead and troubleshooted the software and the drivers and and that wasn't the issue. Then then they then told me to plug it into a different computer and see if it started the problem. I plugged it in and it did. Uh, so, um, along with that, it also would kind of connect and disconnect from time to time, which I thought was strange. But it didn't happen too too often, so I wasn't really too concerned with that. So anyways, I went on Amazon and requested a replacement, and I waited again another three days for it or whatever. It showed up, and once again, I was pumped. I was like, hell yeah, finally I've got this keyboard. I cannot wait to have this thing rock and rolling. Well, the next keyboard, I plugged it in, and it was having ridiculous issues with uh, drivers and even being recognized by my computer. It would reset every couple of seconds, or it would disconnect, and I'd have to restart my computer, um, and a bunch of shit. And I tried all sorts of different troubleshooting. I Googled it. I went on forums and stuff like that and saw that this was actually quite a common issue, and the res the uh, basically the... Um, uh, way to fix this, they were saying, was to downgrade from Synapse to the old uh, Black Widow driver software suite type thing. So I went ahead and did that, and it didn't seem to really work, but then out of nowhere, like magic, it started to work again, and it, I used it for about a day without it disconnecting. I didn't really use it much, though. I just kind of like pressed on all the keys and saw it lit up, and it was connected, and I was like, sweet. So then I went ahead and decided, oh, I'm going to do some, finally, I'm going to do some gaming on it. So I was playing, I believe, Terra um, the other night with it, and I noticed that the uh, arrow keys were kind of acting weird, like, um, no, 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 that's not true, I wasn't gaming, I was ty typing up a Word document, and when I started using the arrow keys, I noticed that they weren't really working right, and my computer was tripping out, and so I went ahead and um, downloaded, or not downloaded, but I ran a keyboard utility checker tool, and basically all you do is you press every single key on the keyboard, one after another, and it shows you on the screen that it's, you know, respond to, responding, and which key it's responding to. And so when I got to the arrow keys, um, both the bottom and left arrow key, when I pressed them, would press both the bottom and left, so they were like stuck together. The up key was non-responsive, didn't register at all, and the right key did not respond at all. So I, um, basically at that point, was very, very pissed and frustrated, and I decided that I am completely, I'm not going to try to get a third replacement. Um, I'm completely, I sent both of them back, and I'm waiting to get my refund through Amazon. That way I can go with a... 
uh, Corsair keyboard. There's a Corsair keyboard that has kick-ass feedback. It's a mechanical keyboard. It's about twenty or thirty dollars more, um, but that's fine. I, you know, when you're spending that much on a keyboard, it's gonna last you hopefully years. I don't really care about twenty or thirty dollars, but basically, I'm just really disappointed with Razer. Um, again, I've been really happy with this. Deathstalker keyboard. It's been a solid keyboard and I wanted to go with Razer. Uh, one, for the color scheme, my mouse was green as well, and two, just because Razer, in my mind, has always been a badass brand, but honestly, after having two faulty keyboards back to back, perhaps it was just a shipment, perhaps it wasn't even, um, you know, Razer, it was Amazon, something to do with the handling, but I really doubt that having two in a row is just a coincidence and that it's Amazon's thing, and especially after looking on the forums and seeing that the Black Widow is known to have issues, especially with drivers and things like that, I just don't want to deal with it. To me, a keyboard is such a simple, basic utility you know basic tool basic piece of hardware that they it shouldn't be complicated it should be plug and play and um, all I want is a keyboard that's got mechanical keys that actually functions and has a backlit keyboard so again I am completely going I guess to the dark side if you will and um, I will be purchasing the um, Corsair keyboard which I'll probably link you guys to if you want to take a look at it and I'll link you to the Black Widow as well it was the Black Widow ultimate which is like a step up or two from their base Black Widow model um, but yeah, so that's really it. And I guess like I'm not pissed off anymore about it. I'm kind of over it. I'm just glad that they're out of my face. Cause it was more frustrating when I had both keyboards here, and uh, it was in my room hotter than hell after having a bad day already, and my keyboard didn't fucking work. Like I was pissed off about it. So yeah, I um God, I don't know. Razer is really gonna have to like up their game with me. I don't know if I'll ever go with the Razer product again. Um, even I'm planning on upping my uh my mouse in the next month or two here with one that's got a bunch of programmable uh, programmable buttons on the side like macros that I can program for like playing Terra with all my attack moves and things like that um, because currently my mouse only has like two buttons but I think that I'm going to be going with Corsair on that as well or a uh, competitor's brand because again after this this is just terrible to me like just such a bad experience and I've with Amazon like I've ordered thousands of things on their their website I order stuff weekly uh, over the last four or five six years on here and I've never had an issue with quality control so I really feel like this is something on Razor's part so um, anyways guys I'm gonna end it on that note um, anyone anyone else that has had issues with Razor products and like that please let me know in the comments down below um, and if you do have any other suggestions for mechanical keyboards also be I you know I definitely want to check them out I'm pretty set on the Corsair one just because of the feedback and the reviews and um, it got like voted best mechanical keyboard on I don't know if it was PC world or PC mag or something like that but it looks kick-ass but again before I ordered I am willing to take any and all suggestions and I'll do a little bit of research on it so anyways on that note I am out of here hope you all are doing well I had a good 4th of July if you are in the US and celebrated it um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to my channel I am trying to push out as many videos as I possibly can. Uh, Dope Swanner and I am out. Peace, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.